Hey, this is Luke with Harmonica.com, and this is my review of the Lee Oscar Harmonica. <laughs> Well, I'm very excited to do this review. I love Lee Oscar harmonicas. It was the first harmonica I ever fell in love with. And it's my personal brand of choice. It's the harmonicas that I play when I do gigs and when I do recording sessions. And these are the harmonicas that I pull out. Lee Oscar himself has become a friend and mentor to me. He's a wonderful human being. He's a great harmonica player himself. I recommend checking him out if you haven't. And of course, he's the one who designed these harmonicas. So this is a harmonica designed by a harmonica player. And that's part of why I think it's such a great harmonica. Bendability. Yeah, this, this harmonica is super easy to bend, and that's part of what really drew me to this harmonica at the beginning is I was kind of having trouble bending, and I found personally that this was a much easier harmonica for me to bend than other ones. Now, I'd say at this point in time, at the day of this recording, it's just as easy to bend on a Special 20 as it is on a Lee Oscar. Bendability, I give this harmonica a 5 out of 5 stars. Comfort. This is a super comfy harmonica. Of course, it's a black plastic comb harmonica, same like a Special 20. So anytime you're playing a plastic comb harmonica, it's gonna be easier on the lips than a wooden comb would be. And of course, it's not subject to the splintering or swelling. The reed plate is countersunk into the comb, and the design of the cover plates is such that it's very comfy on the lips. In other words, the reed plate is not exposed. There's nothing harsh on the lips. It feels great. Also, the corners are slightly rounded, so when you hold it, it doesn't jab into your hands. So I give this a five out of five stars for comfort. It's a very comfortable harmonica. Now, one thing I do want to know is that I have read in forums that people who have long mustaches have complained that Lee Oscars are mustache rippers. <laughs> so I keep mine fairly well trimmed here. It hasn't been a problem for me, but if you have a big unruly beard and mustache, that might be something you want to consider when you're considering buying this harmonica. Responsiveness. I can play really fast on this harmonica. This harmonica is everything that I want. It goes zero to 60, boom. As soon as I draw on one of the holes, I get the sound that I'm looking for. Same thing when I'm bending, the notes never die out. And so that's what I want out of a harmonica. I can play fast passages on this. I can play syncopated rhythms, very responsive. Five out of five stars for responsiveness. Tone. For tone, I give the Lee Oscar a four out of five stars. It's a great sounding harmonica. It's maybe not the best, best tone in the world, so I'm, I'm docking it one star, but it still sounds great. It's bright, it has a loud projection. Also, interesting to note, this harmonica is tuned to the equal tempered system as opposed to just intonation. So it sounds particularly good if you're wanting to play a lot of single notes. It's easy to play single notes and have them sound in tune. The other harmonica that's tuned using this tuning method is the Honer Golden Melody. And I find that actually the tone of the Lee Oscar is very comparable to that of the Honer Golden Melody. And I love the tone, it's very sweet. Again, it's bright, it's got a loud projection and it's in tune when you pull it out of the box. So tone again, I give it a four out of five stars. Now, I should note that because of the way it's tuned, it really sounds better for single notes versus the special 20 is tuned to really sound great when you play chords. So if you're gonna be playing in a more chordal style, a more folksy Bob Dylan, Neil Young kind of approach, lots of double stops and chords and stuff like that, not that it doesn't sound good on this instrument, but maybe the Special 20 sounds a little bit sweeter in that capacity. And if you're playing single notes, you might enjoy playing the Lee Oscar a little bit more. So that's something you can consider if you're evaluating that. I'd say the Special 20 and the Lee Oscar are fairly comparable in terms of price, and they're both excellent professional quality harmonicas, but not super expensive. So that's why I bring up the Special 20 as a comparison. In fact, why don't I just grab my Special 20 here and let's kind of hear how they sound compared to each other. So here is the Lee Oscar playing in a chordal style. And the Special 20.
And here's the Lee Oscar. And then let's try playing some single notes now. Here's the Lee Oscar. And the special 20. So again, they sound very similar to each other, and they're both great harmonicas. Looks. The Lee Oscar is not really much to look at. It's not the sexiest harmonica, right? It's just your standard black plastic comb harmonica. However, I am giving it a 5 out of 5 stars because... I love the key labels. The key labels are so awesome, and I really don't know why more manufacturers haven't stolen the idea here that Lee Oscar came up with. So we have the first position key label right here on the front, nice and bright. It's easy to see in a dimly lit club. Likewise, on the side here, on the left side of the harmonica, it says first and the key of C. And then on the right side of the harmonica, it has second and the key of G. And this key labeling is just brilliant. It just makes life so easy. A lot of cases are made where the side is facing up and you could put it either way with the first position or second position up depending on what position you're playing more. But having the second position key label on the other side is just wonderful so that when a band leader calls out the key of the next tune and you're having to do the alphabet math in your head, right? It's nice to just be able to look at the side of the harmonica and be like, okay, second position G, I got the right key for the song, everything is good. So again, I think the key labels are brilliant and that's why I give it a five out of five stars. And I wish other harmonica manufacturers would follow Lee Oscar's lead on this. One more thing I want to note here is that the Lee Oscars come in these black plastic cases, which is really nice. And I have a few of them here uh, to show you this. If you buy more than one of them, they can kind of slide together like this. And then you can put your harmonicas in here. And it so basically functions as a case. So if you don't own a case and you're getting more keys, you can kind of slide them together, which I've done at times in my life when I haven't had a case. I'll just have a couple racks of Lee Oscars like these and take them with me. And so that's really convenient. I think that's a really cool feature that's worth mentioning because that's something that I really like and have appreciated a lot about these harmonicas. In terms of durability and fixability, these are really hardy harmonicas. There was a time in my life where I switched from playing Lee Oscars to Special 20s. I was playing really hard at that time in my life. I've kind of relaxed a bit since then in, in how much pressure I'm using. And I was blowing those Special 20s out fairly quickly. And I went back to the Lee Oscars because I found them to be durable and to be able to really hold up over time very well and take and withstand a lot of abuse and so I did want to mention that they have Phillips head screws here so fairly easy to take off the cover plates you can get replacement reeds for them just like you can for the modular series honer harmonicas and so you can save a little bit of money if you're the tinkering type and you blow out a reed and you want to just buy the replacement reed set instead of buying a whole new harmonica so all in all, I give this a 4.8 out of 5 stars, making it one of my highest rated harmonicas. And again, it is my personal favorite in the harmonica that I personally play. So again, my name is Luke with harmonica.com. I hope you've liked this review. If you did like this, if you're getting value out of the videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, leave a comment below the video if you have any questions about this harmonica or anything related to the world of harmonicas. I'm always happy to talk all things harmonica with you. Keep on rocking and having fun with the harmonica. When a band leader shouts out the... When a band leader calls out the... Oh, wow, this is really bad. Okay. You do the alphabet mouth in... <laughs> the alphabet math in your... And you're having to do the alphabet mouth... <laughs> <laughs> Alphabet math, math, math. <laughs> Alphabet mouth. What's wrong with me?